Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my completed pages for the month of September. I finished around 30 pages, which is a bit more than usual, so I'm glad. And I'm going to show you which pages these are. So the very first one here is actually not a complete page, but I did this cute little bear with the flowers and the leaves. And I used colored pencils and a white gel pen for some highlights. And I can now say that I finally worked in one of my Japanese coloring books, even though it's technically not a complete page, but I love this book. It has very beautiful images inside. Of course, it intimidates me, but I feel more confident now that I worked in it and got a feeling for it. So that was the first one. Then in one of my monthlies in the Yaoi Wives, I did these two guys here. I like the combination of purple and pink. It has been one of my favorite color combinations ever since I was a kid. So yeah. I gave them purple and pink shirts and I used alcohol marker as a base and colored pencil shading and a white prismacolor for some highlights. So one more page done in here. The next one I'm not too proud of in the Chibi coloring book. I did this one and I actually wanted to do a different color combination and uh, make the background blue, but then I realized well, he's probably lying on a meadow, so I should do the background green. But I already had colored the pants green, so it looks a little boring. But since there are two versions of each page, I have the opportunity to pick a better color combination next time. And the images in here are really cute. This is the one from last month. So yeah, one more in here. Then in the Oiseau Coloriage Mystère by Hachette Heroes, I simply did the second image, and it's this bird here. I really like the color combination. It looks very autumnal. I have no idea what kind of bird that is, but it was done with acrylic paint, and I like how it turned out. So yeah. In the Vice Versa, I also used acrylic paint to do the very first page here, which is this shark. And this is one of the optical illusion ones where you have one image visible, but when you color it, it turns into something else. I do like to use opaque mediums in these books because then you cover up the extra lines. So yeah. And in the Chat Mystère, I did this image last month, and in September I did this cute little kitty here. Again, acrylic paint. I like how it turned out. These images are not super precise, super realistic. They look already like they were painted with rather broad strokes, in my opinion. But I really like this book. It's very cute. Spicy Cat Colors has it too, and reminded me that uh, I should work more in it because the pictures are so cute. Then another monthly, the Looney Tunes. I do try to work consistently in this one as well, and I finished the fifth page in total. I used colored pencils. I think it was, I started with the Amazon Basics, and as you can see, the paper is pretty worn down here because the Amazon Basics pencils are super cheap and pretty good for that price, but they are just not as soft as Kalur or Brute Funer, or in this case, the Prismacolors with which I did the rest of the image. So I really like that you can just flip through these and you have completed pictures in here. It looks really nice. So looking forward to working more on this one. Then we have Les Grands Classiques, the first tome. Oh, yeah, by the way, I started to add some of these to some of the books to just keep track of what I have done and, oh my god, all the things that I have yet to do. Um, but the page for September was this one. It's Arthur from The Sword in the Stone. Really like how it turned out. I like the vibrant colors. I like the really thick black lines. Makes the image really pop. So, yeah. And in the... Sous l'océan. I have done Ariel here. I did her with colored pencils. I only used acrylic paint for the white highlights. So you can see on her skin the lines and a bit of the numbers through, but I like it regardless. And there was some detail 
here where it would have just been a bit too tedious for my taste to work with a brush. So I do appreciate colored pencils and the way they work in these books. And we have next the girl power. And what did I do here? Oh yeah, I did Pocahontas and her friend whose name escapes me at this moment. And unfortunately, I did her skin way too dark. Um, I think I used the Ardex. And um, yeah, it was just the only color that really fit her skin, but it was pretty dark. So looks a little strange, especially with the highlight here, but it is what it is. It's a page done and I don't mind it too much. So one more done in girl power. Then we have nature. This is one of the more recent ones. And I did the Cheshire cat here from Alice in Wonderland. Again, colored pencils, I think it was either the Ardex or Prismacolors. It looks a little too streaky for the Prismacolors, so it might have been Ardex. I'm not sure. No, this was definitely a shade of the Prismacolors. So, yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> I did these pictures pretty much in the beginning of September, so it's sometimes hard to remember which mediums exactly I used, especially because I don't write it down, because I don't think it's that relevant, right? So there is a hair in, oh, I'm sorry, in the Colortronic Animals, I did with acrylic paint this cute little mouse here. And I also did this cute little bird here. Really like how the black background makes it pop. I really enjoy working in these books. This is how the images originally look. So they are single-sided. You can choose whether you want to use alcohol markers, colored pencils, or whatever medium you like. I have chosen acrylic paint because I like its opaque look. So yeah, those were these two pages. And in the original Colortronic, I also did two. It was this Tutank Moon Mask. Looks very funky with this color combination. And this cute little pug here. Yep, both done with acrylic paint. And in this one, uh, Colorful Animals, Color by Number. This is the first volume by Jennifer Rowling. I think it's Jennifer Rowling. Yeah. So I did three, I think. Yes, I did the lion. I did the eagle here. Really like this one. Very nice. And the elephant. So yeah, making good progress in this one. Oh, I have done three images per month so far in this one. And I only worked two months in it, so... <laughs> Um, Bob Ross, Color by Number. Love this one. I uh, saw this first on Tammy Colors 2's channel. Really enjoy working in it. And this was, yes, the third month I worked in it. So I have the third image done here. It's this beautiful autumn landscape with the reflection in a lake. Again, acrylic paint. Really worked a lot with acrylic paint. Just enjoyed this medium very much this month. And then... Um, I showed this in my last haul, my kawaii cacti, and I did this one. Yeah, pretty simple. Green cactus, uh, pink blossoms, and a brown pot. Um, actually, this was a mixture of acrylic paint. I used some acrylic paint, watered it down so it wouldn't be opaque, and then mixed some metallic green in it because I thought that would look interesting, but it just turned out streaky. Um, but then I did this one with a, um, alcohol markers and it also turned out streaky. So yeah, um, it is what it is. I don't mind it. This one looks very like bright and colorful and this one has more muted colors, but I have, I think this is 50, right? Yeah. There are 50 images in here. So I have plenty of color choices. Oh, this one is really beautiful. Maybe I do this one next. Yeah. And in the Color by Colors Autumn that I'm also slowly and consistently trying to finish, um, I did this pretty autumn tree. I like the purple in the background. Just some simple color by number with alcohol markers, which is really nice to wind down after work. And in the Ceramic Tiles color by number, I did a bunch. Actually, I just after work, I just sat down and did these to wind down. So I have this one. This one, this one, 
And this one really helps you to kind of get into flow state. This one as well. Yeah, and that was the last one. I'm looking forward to finishing this one because I have a lot of these ceramic tiles ones. I think I have all of them. <laughs> and I will enjoy working in another one too. So here is the Circulism Sea Life. Also trying to work more in all my AJ Quinnell books and not getting any more of their books until I have finished more of them. I am doing better than I expected. So here we have this turtle simple with alcohol markers i really do like how these turn out very vibrant and funky looking in the winter by sun life drawing i did as so often the next image in line yes which is this snowman like the blues and teals very simple mindless coloring great way to relax and i have done Actually, the complete stone mosaic. Um, this is another, I think this is now the third book that I have finished without filming a flip through because I'm lazy when uh, with filming. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm trying to film a complete flip of this and get this up. Then in my monthly stone mosaic, I always do two of these. And for September, it was the pineapple. This book costs me a lot of blues. <laughs> But that's okay. And this vase of roses. Really nice. Yep. Love the stone mosaic books by Balba family. Then I did the Zen Doodle stained glass by Deborah Mueller. And the next image in line was this. Very abstract, interesting looking tree. Like the purples and violets. Magenta, whatever you call that color. And then, last but not least, I kind of breezed through this one, but yeah, <laughs> I want to go back to coloring. <laughs> um, I have this one, which is like a bison, I think, very brownish. Then I have one, two, three more to go. I'm really considering just finishing these three and be done with it, but I love this book so much. I hope, I, I think I say that in, in each and every one of my videos. I hope Sun Life Drawing releases another one in this style. It looks really interesting. But yeah, those were my pages for the month of September. Can't wait to see all of your finished pages. So thank you so much for watching. Maybe see you in the next one and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!